Welcome everyone. Hello, hello. Please let me know you're here. Say hello to me. And um, I've got some content for you, okay? It'll be good. I'm just gonna dive into it, okay? We either accept failure or we accept success in our lives. We either accept failure or we accept success in our lives. And we have done one or the other based on our beliefs. But it isn't simply the failure or the success that we have struggled with. No. It is the fear of them, mostly the fear of failing. And it's the fear of failing that can keep us where we are right now. Accepting failure is comfortable. It's much easy to, easier to accept failure because what it does is it stops us. It allows us to stay comfortable in the zone that we're in and play it safe. It's always easier to play it safe, but it doesn't always feel good to play it safe. There will come a time in your life where you will look back and say, why didn't I do something? Why didn't I take action? It's inevitable. Things that are common that we say is, I failed at being an entrepreneur, so I'm not trying again. I'm going to go a different route. I tried putting myself out there as a writer and was rejected. So I'm done trying that again. Or have you found yourself saying, I just figured it wouldn't work anyway, so I'm not going to try. I'm not even going there. I just figured it won't work. It seems too hard. Mm -hmm. These are the kinds of things we tell ourselves when we are accepting failure and when we actually fear failure. It doesn't mean you walk around saying, I accept failure. No. But by the actions that you're not taking, you are. Fear of failure keeps us from reaching our potential. Ever heard of the one hit wonder band? And then they disappeared? Or the author who writes only one book and doesn't write another? Well, that's because they don't believe they can do it again. And that's the reason, and that reason, um, and that's the reason why fear of failure stops them from moving forward. They were afraid of rejection, criticism, and had the fear of not being good enough or the belief that they didn't measure up, they couldn't measure up again to the expectations of others. They fear the next time around will be a flop. But most often, it's the fear of failure that keeps a great writer from even starting. Look at J.K. Rowling, for example. The author is the massively successful children's book author of Harry Potter that made her a multi-billionaire. When asked what her greatest fear was, she told the interviewers that it was the fear of failure. She said that seven years after graduating from the university, she was a failure. She was divorced, unemployed, a single parent, and poor. The lesson, her fear became her reality. If we let fear dictate our lives, it will. It will stop us from even starting down the path that could change our lives and the world around us, how we experience life, how we feel here on planet Earth, and how we're able to contribute. The truth is success breeds success, which means that failure can lead to more failure if you let it. 
So what causes us to feel fear failure? It's a combination. It's a combination of inherited fear of failure, which happens based on the life experiences of your ancestors that you may or may not be aware of. It lies within our subconscious. And also the fear of failure stems from a traumatic experience in your life where you were humiliated or embarrassed because say a teacher criticized your schoolwork in front of the children, other, other third graders. A parent telling you, why bother? You don't ever get it right anyway, and it's just frustrating. So let it, why bother? Just don't do it. Yeah. Yes, people are told that. Yes, children are raised that way. And yes, it does stop us. It's the experience of feeling like a failure already in our life, combined with the subconscious patterns that come through in our cellular memory that can cause us to hold ourselves back because we fear, right? Failure. We fear not measuring up. We fear doing it wrong. We then accept this experience that we've had in our life as our truth, when in reality, it is a false belief that we don't have the ability or that we aren't good enough to try or try again and again. You are good enough and you are capable of succeeding. And it doesn't matter how old you are. So don't even entertain the idea of failure. Don't accept it and don't expect it. How often do you find yourself expecting the worst case scenario? Subconscious does this because it's trying to protect you from being let down, disappointed or hurt. Those are patterns that don't serve you and they can be changed. They can be rewritten. Learn from the past, but then leave it where it belongs, in the past. All stories, all situations, all experiences have attached to them a learning experience. It is through these that we gain wisdom. But if we don't take action, we never have the opportunity to gain the wisdom from the lesson and move on. Move forward and live within the truth and with the belief that you can succeed. So instead of accepting failure as part of your life, as part of your identity, as part of your mental thought process, choose to accept success. We accept success through our thoughts and the self-talk that we engage in moment to moment on a daily basis. Believe and expect success and you will get it. It is inevitable. It's a universal law. Henry Ford made a profound and true statement when he said, whether you think you can or you think you can't, you're right. Whether you think you can or you think you can't, you're right. That statement is true because of the power of our minds. We believe what we tell ourselves repeatedly. Failure isn't failure if we use it as a lesson in the process of becoming successful, of finding our groove, of living in passion, in our life's passion. Try new things, take a risk, go out on a limb, be brave, change your life and the world when you do so. By saying yes, taking action steps to experience new things, that is the only way to experience success. That is the only way to shift a paradigm. That is, that's it. You'll be very happy you did. Because only truly living in this space of your true potential, do you really feel that you're successful? Because success is not measured by just money. It's not measured by fame. Some of the world does this. But that isn't where you go for the inside. What is success for you? Don't settle. Let me know in the chat, what does success look like for you? What or, And answer, what are you afraid of failing at? What would you try to do if you were not afraid? There isn't a judgment on fear. What would you be afraid of? I mean, what would you do if you weren't afraid to do it? Okay, 
um, you're struggling with this and I'm working on it. It help is much appreciated. Yeah, you know, um, I teach it in this class that I'm doing that I put the link to. I'm literally teaching part of my soul awakening method in there where you're going to learn how to clear these patterns yourself. And if you ever wanted to have a business doing it, you have that opportunity, but it's really to help you learn how to clear it yourself. So um, look at it. I'll put, a, I'll, I'll put something in there. But um, yeah, it's more than mindset. We have to think positively, but if you have an inherited pattern or you have trauma in your life, um, you need to learn how to release it. Yeah, it's, it's, the, it's the biggest gift you'll ever give yourself, honestly, when it comes to your own transformation and transformation that lasts. Yeah, and I would love to be a teacher for you. I'd love to mentor you. Um, financial lack is scary. It's, it is. It shakes us. But then when we get shaken, we go into a oftentimes, Kathy, when we're shaken financially, we go into this deep space of scarcity. And, and that'll show up in all areas of our life, including the scarcity of belief, the scarcity that we can, we can make good decisions, right? It's not just the scarcity of financial. It lands in all aspects of our life when this hits. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hello, Dina, dear. So just let me know, what do you, if you weren't afraid to do something, what would you do? That's one question. If what does success mean to you? All right. What's the measure of success for you? And all answers are good, by the way. All answers are, 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 are successful in a sense because we're all wired differently. So someone might say to me, um, money is. And as I unravel it with them, right? By the way, money is a fine goal, okay? As long as you can build on that and it's not from zero to a billion. I, I wanna be a billionaire. Well, there's a lot of action steps to becoming that, isn't there? And so that gets overwhelming. But oftentimes when someone is saying, I want, you know, I want to make more money, they also want to know that their work is valued. So that tells me in that, 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 that there are patterns deep within them where they didn't feel valued. Now they can still feel valued through monetary acceptance, right? But when it's the only way to feel successful, it becomes an all or nothing, right? It can be, I, I feel successful if I'm in a happy, if I'm in a happy, loving relationship, okay? What is it I feel successful if my family interacts with me? You know, what does success look like for you? Because with the method, you're going to be able to unravel that for yourself. Mm -hmm. And you'll find transformation that lasts. Yeah. So tell me what it is. And um, because I'm curious, I want you to know you have the power to, to bring healing to yourself. That's important to me. I don't want anybody to ever feel that they're dependent on someone else. And yet, let me tell you a universal law. It can be God's law. It can be a universal law. But we need each other. No person was meant to do it all themselves. No, oftentimes prayers and the universe responds to support through other people. That is a universal truth. So if we are stuck in the mindset, we have to do and be it all ourselves, and we've worked on things for years, the mindset is askew a little bit. And where can you accept somebody else into your life to help you move something along? It's all part of the, the, the plan. We need one another, which is another reason why when the world is in discord, it throws us off internally because our soul's truth is we need each other. Yeah. All right. Lots of love to you. Be aware of where you get tripped up in the fear of failure. Okay. Where you get tripped up in the fear of success and let's unravel it. I'll help you. Lots of love.